Hi, I'm Richard. I'm Yuliam. This is week five of level <laughs> one in May 2019 Wednesday Night Hop. Yes. <laughs> we started out, I'm stunt lead this, this week, hello, new face, because we've had <laughs> a lot of different teachers in this class. Um, so we did a little bit of review, reviewed a lot of the stuff that had been covered in previous sessions in the class, and then we added a couple of new things. Yes, to the eight count moves, we added the uh, inside the turn. The first one was an inside turn, so five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and four, five, six, six seven, seven, and eight. And uh, the way that we led, talked about the lead for this one is making a nice window on count four for the follower um, to be able to see through. I'll show it from this direction. So we've got this one, two. No, it's like from here. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> one, two, three, three and, and four. four. So on four, I'm already leading my follower um, down the right side. I I've see. cleared the, spa the line for my follower to go through, and then... Release on five. Yes. And I'm going into my like natural frame and then just unwinding, unwinding. here. Yep, so that was th uh, uh, inside turn and inside a swing out. And then we did, uh, we, we reviewed the outside turn before we did that uh, from last week. And then what else did we and do? Two words about the outside turn, about the footwork. Mm -hmm. uh, on the turn One, for the two, followers three and, and four. four. So it's easier when you do this uh, linear moves for followers. It's easier to turn like with the half of a circle steps, like like this. Chenet turn, feet shoulder width apart under you, pivot, pivot. Yes. Yep. So. So like one, two, two three, three, and four, four. Step, five, step, six, three, seven, both and step. eight. Yeah. yeah. And then we did the fancy move. Yeah, we did the, oh, the glide, yes, yeah. the Frankie Manning glide. So this is a classic move that Frankie Manning used to teach. Um, looks kind of fancy, it's actually quite simple. Um, so we get, it's the first half of it is the same as the first half of the swing out, where we connect on four, and then we open up and glide to the side. So it looks like this, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and, and six, six, and seven, seven and, and eight. eight. And we talked about the lead for this is that um, instead of with a normal swing out where we're kind of uh, stretched away from each other on count four, it's a little bit more relaxed. And I tend to gather my weight a little bit more to the left in preparation on that count four so that we can then relax to the right. And I also keep a lot of energy in this arm. And all the time that we're moving in this direction, I am constantly moving that um, connection with my frame as I go down the line. So we can like do as many of those glides as we want. We did four. We also played around with doing eight. can do any number of them to move around the floor. So it looks again like this. Uh, let's make sure we don't run into that piano. <laughs> five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven. And on the end eight, when we want to stop the move, we collect in instead of continuing down the line. And then we can uh, finish it up with a rock step into either a circle to closed or another swing out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then we did the waist trap. That yeah. was the one last. So we, we transitioned a little bit, uh, pivoting back to the six count moves that we had at the beginning of the class. We reviewed a bunch of those. And we added in this one, which is a leader's waist trap, where the leads are basically going to wrap into this arm. And the followers are going to pass by on the back side and then Keeping reconnect. Keeping the connection of the back. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like this. Five, six, Maybe. seven, sure. and a... Sorry. Five, no, six, here. seven, and a one, two, three, and four, <laughs> five, and six. And then from this angle... Yeah. <laughs> five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. six. So leads are only, we, we're, we can't see our follower because they're behind us, and we're not connected to them except through the back. So followers and leads both are maintaining that connection yes. through the entire move as we slide past, and then the hand slides right into this, this cup connection at the end. Yes, and we talked a little bit about the the same thing yeah the, the parallel from the close yeah, yeah from from close for the so one, one two, two three and, and four. four so it's kind of the same thing where the the leads in the other move the leads hand is seeking connection with the follower leads back is seeking connection with the followers hand and in this move the followers back <laughs> is seeking connection with the leaders hand yeah so we keeping the we both keep the connection yeah. here and then for the open up five. And we talked a little bit about um, ways to kind of drill that connection and practice to improve your swing out. And that's to make have only one point of connection at a time when you're doing your swing out as an exercise. So we only have the one point of connection here at the beginning. You got this one, two, and then release three and four. This hand is free. I'm connected with the back. So the, that's the only connection here. And on this five, six, seven, and eight, we transition back to the only single connection at the front. So that's a good way to, to drill the connection and practice your stretch and your connection and make your yeah. swing outs feel nice and Especially clean. Especially stretch, yeah. yeah. So. 
And other than that, we went back through and we talked about all of the moves that you guys have learned over this five-week class, which is a lot. So I encourage you to go back and look through the previous um, video recaps and you and can catch up on all the stuff that... Yeah, and try to mix six and eight count moves. Yep. And remember about, if you can, <laughs> remember about the phrases in the music. So... Hope you guys had a good time. Yeah. See you.